Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can design a tire in Katia V5 using the part design and wireframe in surface design workbench. So this is a completed design what you can see here and I'm going to show you how you can design it from the scratch. So this is the fourth part of the tutorial and here I'm going to show you the next step which is to be done. So we're going to select this closed surface that we created first and this circular pattern together. Press the control key and press both of them and insert transformation feature use the mirror and then you need to select this plane here and click on OK. So we got uh, another pattern on the right side so we're going to create some uh, you know fancy pattern in the middle and that's it. So uh, I'm going to select this particular plane here click on sketch and here I'm going to create the next pattern so we got a what we're going to do is we're going to create maybe something like this make these two lines parallel to each other and then and I'll use all of the designs use the mirror command and mirror it and then close this alright that's it let's come out of the sketch and now as I've done before go to the wireframe and surface design workbench use the project command select this as the projected and this as a support and this as a direction just click on the preview and you get that uh, projected on that tire there just click on OK you gotta hide whatever you don't want there and just select this use the extrude command like before use the z-axis z component and then use the fill command to fill them all together another fill command to fill over here too so what I want all of my subscribers to do is to understand the technique of uh, the design or how you can use all these commands all together when you're working so just use the join command and put them all together come back to the part design workbench and use the surface base feature close surface and use this join command which we used lastly close them and then hide this join here and we got that part there so just hide the unwanted and the next thing what you need to do is the final circular pattern which I'm going to show you in the next part of the tutorial so I hope you enjoyed this keep watching stay tuned thank you